हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक स्मार्ट फॉर्म्स एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट वी शुड ऑलवेज ऑलवेज राइट द लॉजिक इन द ड्राइवर प्रोग्राम we have written the logic in the driver program and yes in the smart form there is no selection logic there is no select query now we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode and we will not get the output then we will come to know yes why why we are not getting the output so firstly i will put a break point on the first select query itself parallelly i will put a break point in the smart form also so that we can understand better so i will go to the smart form which we created so if some confusion is there in this debugging you will get the 100% clarity how how the values are getting passed to the smart form so i will go to the smart form i'll go to back button this is our smart form i will go to initialization and here i will put a break point in the future videos you will come to know we have a dedicated video yes how you can debug a smart form but as of now how you will debug the smart form just put break space your sap login id suppose this is my login id in the future we have a dedicated topic for the same how to debug a smart form so as of now you can put break space your sap login id and you all know this is a user dependent break point now i will run i will go to execute i am suppose putting order number 1 i will go to execute button desktop 3 most preferable desktop input is on the right hand side order number is equal to 1 it will go to order header table it will fetch the data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table as of now internal table has zero records and five columns i am doing f6 because this is one line in sap and f6 is the key for line by line execution now you can see we have one record in the internal table for the five columns now this if condition is true because our internal table is not initial internal table is not null internal table is not blank now we are fetching data from item table based upon lt data internal table and which particular column we are referring order number o and o so what is the value of o and o o and o is 1 so this 1 will go to order item table it will fetch the data of these three columns and data will come to this internal table as of now lt data 1 zero records once i will execute the query you can see we have three records we have one header record and three item record now we will proceed further now this is sap function module which will return the function module of the smart form i will not do f5 because if i will do f5 i will go inside this function module i will simply simply do f6 so that control will directly come from 46 to 
58th number line because it is acting as one line in SAP. We have dot here. I'm doing F6. And you can see we got the function module of the smartphone, which is ending with 154. If I will run the smartphone independently also, you can see we have 154, but we will not go for hard coding of the function module because this function module generates at runtime. So we are always, always using this function module to get the function module of the smartphone. Now I will do F6. Now we are passing header and item data to the smartphone now through what function module of the smartphone. So here we are exporting. So whenever we will export so that in the smartphone it will treat as import. Here it is LT data and LT data one. But in the smartphone, it is LT header and LT item. Now I already put a breakpoint in the smartphone. When we started with the debugging, I already put the breakpoint. So I will simply, simply do F8 so that it will stop there. Now I am doing F8. I am putting device. I will go to print preview. Now you can see I stopped there itself. Now in the smart form, what is your internal tables? LT underscore header. And what is your second internal table? LT underscore item. If you remember in the form interface, this is the two internal table which we passed. Now if you see, in LT header, yes, we have the data. In LT item, we have the data. Now we are passing the header data to this work area. And we are reading the record at index one. It means as of now, work area is blank. So first record from this internal table will go to work area. Now I'm doing F6 and you can see the data moved to the work area. And yes, if you remember in all the windows, we are referring LS data hyphen order number, order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. So yes, it means we are simply moving the data to the work area and it will display. And have you seen? There is no select query. There is no selection logic in the smart form. From the driver program itself, we passed. Now, if I will simply, simply execute. Have you seen? We have not got any output at all. Previously, we are getting the output when we have written the logic in the smart form itself. We are getting the result. Now we are not getting the result at all. Yes. So now the question comes, why, why we are not getting the output? This part we will continue in the next video. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode. Yes. We simply put a breakpoint in the driver program in the smartphone. As of now, you can simply put a breakpoint in the smartphone by writing break space your SAP login ID. In the future, you will learn what are the various ways to debug a smartphone. And we saw how our header and item data is passing to the smartphone, but we are not getting any output. And why we are not getting the output? Now we will come on to the fun of the most important topic in the next video. 
what is the significance of currency slash quantity field once we will work on to this particular tab we will get the expected output so that's it in this particular video thank you